Hello everyone, it's Matsumus and thank you for joining me on today's video. So you are probably wondering, Matsumus, why the fuck am I listening to a robot voice? Well strangely enough the world of military related content that discusses military topics on YouTube is all in this ridiculous narrative. Why you may ask? Well I honestly have no idea. But it is fucking hilarious nonetheless. The most ironic part of the fucking insane computer-generated voice videos is that people love it. The videos that have the voice of a robotic politician with a golf ball up his butthole brings in millions of views. So, I thought, if you can't beat them then I will just make fun of them. In light of the video's accuracy in terms of factual data, it's safe to say there are some rather amusing piles of cake that these content creators place in these videos. For instance, the British Challenger 2 tank supposedly has a 105mm rifled gun. Another example is that the MLRS carries 30 rockets. I am not making this up, these videos exist. So today, I thought I would follow the trend and make a video about the biggest and most accurate military news there is. We are going to discuss the new tank being released this year. The M1A7 Abrams main battle tank. Yes, they decided to skip the M1A3 model and go all the way until 7. Why? Fuck knows. But this thing has some rather impressive features. Firstly the chassis hasn't changed at all, in fact most of the tank is the same as the old M1A2 model. The new model now comes with improved range and targeting computer, which is capable of engaging enemy targets at ranges of up to 15 kilometers away. This is done by linking the rounds with a GPS guidance system. Once the round leaves the barrel it will link up using Bluetooth to a satellite. It will then guide itself to the target. Sadly, if someone is trying to call on the cell phone nearby, the round will spontaneously explode. The gun has also been upgraded to a higher caliber. The 120mm gun has been replaced by the 121mm gun. This 1mm difference has been claimed to be able to penetrate at least 1000mm of additional armor. Why just the 1mm the Maximus? Well it was deemed too costly to try and upgrade to anything bigger than 1mm, but also because loaders were complaining that the tank rounds were getting far too heavy to work with. This brings me to the next upgrade to this tank. The M1A7 has a new automatic loader system which is now able to load rounds into the breach in under 2 seconds. Some loaders were quite upset that the tank had stolen the jobs, but leading U.S. Army official General Ball Sack reminded the troops that soon all tanks would be made into drones anyway. The M1A7 has been given a rather impressive defensive capability. Unlike most tanks which use explosive projectiles to defend against incoming missile threats, the M1A7 uses music. The tank uses extremely high volume music to defeat any incoming threat to the tank. Recent studies show that most anti-tank missiles cannot stand the sound of any Katy Perry music. The M1A7 plays I Kissed a Girl and I Liked It at full volume. When the missile comes within hearing distance of the music, it explodes in a self-destruct procedure. This musical defensive technology can also be used to defeat infantry on the battlefield. However, it was found that some infantry trials proved that if they put on air protectors, this would stop the effects. To counter this, the army decided to apply a different music track to play when the M1A7 encounters infantry. Not even air protectors could prevent the deadly sounds of Justin Bieber. The tank uses a new hybrid technology engine to allow it to get better range and power. Yes, this tank is a fucking Prius. 
The tank uses 8000 Duracell AA batteries to allow it to power the tank on electricity. The main engine is now comprised of two powerful 50 horsepower electric motors taken from laundry machines. To charge the gigantic pile of batteries now situated where the loader was, the tank has replaced its gas turbine engine with a lawnmower engine. Sadly due to the world trying to get rid of fossil fuels the M1A7 produces a very poor 130 horsepower at the tracks. That being said the tank can reach impressive speeds of 80 miles per hour. The new crew management system is also highly sophisticated. Most NATO tanks use a battle management system linked to the radios to see the battle picture. With the M1A7 the system links to Facebook. Facebook then communicates to the crew via Facebook Messenger instead of radio, and the commander can then use Twitter to tweet to other vehicles to create a battle summary. Sadly the system has yet to integrate Snapchat but recent reports show that it may be implemented soon. The most impressive feature of this new tank is its armor package. Unlike the Tusk package which relied heavily on explosive reactive armor and ceramic plated armor, the new model uses fucking phone books. Yes, it uses yellow pages to protect itself. You may wonder, why the fuck would they use phone books? Well, it comes down to two reasons. Firstly, what do you do with your old phone books when you are done with them? Throw them away. Well the US Army decided enough was enough and to start using the phone books as a protective measure for the tanks. Secondly the phone books are pretty fucking thick. I mean when you hit someone over the head with one, it fucking hurts. So top scientists determined that this thick phone number field bastard would be a great option to defeat armor piercing rounds and top down attack munitions. Overall guys the M1A7 is a extremely impressive pile of garbage. Its upgrades make no sense but I think that the US Army has made a good decision on this tank being changed for all the right reasons. It is safe to say that any opposing tank would be hard pressed to be able to take this thing out. I am most impressed with the upgrade to the main gun. 1mm of extra firepower that adds 1000mm of penetration is pretty fucking impressive. I must admit though I have to fully agree with the defensive technology this tank possesses also. I can't fucking stand Justin Bieber Katy Perry. Anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today on this video. Yes, I know, this was the biggest waste of time you have ever made. However this video is to point out just how much I fucking hate robot voiced videos on military content on YouTube. I guess speaking and making solid research on military technology and topics and then speaking about them using a voice is not the best way to go. I won't lie to you, typing this shit out has been fucking dreadful. But hey, I hope you had a laugh. Please feel free to leave me a message in the comments section below and if you enjoyed the video then leave a like. If you want to support my channel and my transplant to transform into a robot then please go check out my Patreon page in the description box below. Thanks for your time and have a mong filled day.